The antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties of salt have been known throughout the ages. From the Dead Sea to the Himalayan salt mines, this healing mineral has been around for centuries. Even Hippocrates, the father of medicine, himself prescribed salt water for breathing ailments. From easing skin conditions like psoriasis and eczema, to respiratory conditions like asthma and even cystic fibrosis. Salt is being rediscovered as the miracle mineral that heals. But salt therapies can be used for tons of things, for colds, for allergies, for asthma, dermatitis, psoriasis of your skin, even cystic fibrosis has been arguably treated with salt therapy. So what I'm gonna do today is walk you through these, it's called halotherapy. You're sucking through your mouth and, and training with that air past your tongue into your oral pharynx and the back of your throat. Then you exhale that same salt solution through your nose. So you clean your sinuses and everything up. Now inside what's happening is you have cilia, these little fibers, little hairs, they've got thick mucus on them. The salt, those molecules hit it and it loosens up the mucus so those cilia can push off the mucus that's trapped there. It's one of the reasons that we think it's so valuable dealing with cold and flu symptoms because it helps you move that mucus. Go I'd ahead. rather do it naturally than yeah. with something, you know, I put medicine An expectorant yeah, for medication. I, I love that idea. And that's one of the reasons I love salt because it's one of the things that's most fundamental to who we are. Yeah. So you're dealing with something that doesn't have any real side effects to it.